I'm gonna show you how to put together the perfect brush pile that you can handle yourself, put in your boat and sink it. Yo, what's up? Happy New Year, everybody. January 1st. You know what the cool part about January 1st is? No, it's not having your social media feed blasted with Happy New Year 2023, blah, blah, blah. Just like, okay, 2022 is coming to it. Like, no. Uh -uh. For me, it's about getting rid of my Christmas tree, as you can see in the background. Some people get rid of their Christmas trees a day after Christmas. Some people wait till you know, January 1st. I got, actually got rid of mine after, you know, a couple days after Christmas, something like that. It's been drying out. When I buy a Christmas tree, I'm not looking for a tree that's gonna look nice in my house. I got something else in mind. I'm thinking that's gonna be a nice house for a bunch of big old bass and fat ass crappy. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a brush pile a fish habitat, a fish house, a fish safe house, whatever you want to call it, with your Christmas tree. Don't take it to the dump. Actually, I went to the dump this morning and I picked up another tree right behind me. It was just sitting there. Call it gross, call it white trash, I don't care. It's, it's kind of like habitat for humanity, okay? Except you're doing it for fish. You're giving all these fish that don't have a place to live and you're building them homes. It's good for the environment and it's good for the fish and it's good for me because I can catch them and they're my fish. This is this is right. This is this is going to be my stuff until somebody else finds it. Then it's mine and theirs and you have to share because you don't own the water. Now, not every lake you can sink brush, okay? It's illegal. Some lakes you can, some lakes you can't. I've got this huge pond near my house and that's where I take all my Christmas trees every year and sink. And I, sometimes I have friends that drop Christmas trees off to me because they know I'm going to sink them. Crappy will get on these trees and bass will get on them too. Either way, it's a win. The reason I like building small brush piles, number one, they're easy to handle. You don't need anybody else to go with you. Number two, even with live scopes, item, like all that stuff, they're not going to stick out as much as a bigger brush pile. So if somebody's like graphing a point or something like that, it's not gonna be as obvious as a huge brush pile. Two or three casts in it, rock and roll. If they're in there, they're gonna bite it. If not, roll. There's also a couple different ways that you can sink these trees. You can sink them vertical or you can sink them horizontal. I like sinking mine horizontal, no rhyme or reason. I just, um, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and trim some of this back so I can kind of set my cinder block up in here a little bit more to where it's, and it's a lot easier to, um, to tie up. So as you can see, I kind of pruned a couple limbs right there. It's, it just makes it a lot easier to tie your cinder block to the base of the tree. So a super easy build for hours and hours of fish catching fun. All you're gonna need is some rope. I got this rope at, I don't know, Walmart for maybe six bucks for 50 foot or 100 foot. Hell, I don't know, but I mean, it's, it's don't get poly rope. Poly rope doesn't singe good, right? And poly rope, it's all nylon, it wears out fast. This stuff right here, I've had pretty good luck with it. A lot of my brush is still there where I've put it. This rope seems to work out great for me. And a pocket knife, a cinder block, like that one right there. pressure's on it. Not. So that's gonna be enough right there. So that's that's the way I tied my cinder block to the tree. Just a bunch of, you know, I did like a cinch knot and then a bunch of overhand knots and then I did a knot on top of a knot. You get the idea how well it's gonna hold. You can you can test it out by picking the tree up. Good thing about it is the, the center block is not gonna, it's gonna be on the ground. So there's not gonna be any tension, you know, with the rope or anything. It's gonna sit on the ground. 
The only thing is that tree's maybe gonna float up a little bit until it gets like super saturated. Then it'll lay on top of the center block and it won't move. So that's a good thing about the rope not going back and forth and like cutting it or anything like that. You're good. Quick little video on how I like to recycle my trees instead of taking them to the dump. I put them to use to catch more fish. Remember, Habitat for Humanity and fish. Thanks for watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Till next time. Till... Thanks for watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And until next time, catch you on the flip flop. Come on.